Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Of course, as this is the Mohel <laughs> M. M <laughs> wow, yes. wow. Welcome again and again. This and again and again. The Mohers Empire. Empire. And my good good name is Luciana Creative. My name is Kevin. Okay. Uh -huh. And we are back again with another video. Yes, guys. And we are disappointed. Why? Because of some reasons. What we will give a uh, at the end of the video but today guys we are so happy yes. uh, thank you to everyone who is watching our videos mm -hmm. thank you to everyone who is subscribing to mm -hmm. our videos yeah, to our channel to our channel yes kidogo kisema tuacha kusema praise god at niya kapo ingine but sisi it's not about the kapo it's about mm -hmm. Praising God. Yes, we love yes. God so much because of the far ame tutoa. Yeah, Mr. Mbali. Yeah. Very far. Yes, guys. <laughs> so today we want to give you <laughs> just a little pregnancy update. Mm. And uh, there are various people when you make a comment section or mm -hmm. you tell me, when you inbox, or you tell oh, you see, you should not share about your the pregnancy. pregnancy you should keep it private. Uh -huh. What's your view about that? My view is that uh, there is so many people out here mm -hmm. who don't know, who have no clue about pregnancy. Yes. So the moment we are sharing, they mm -hmm. are getting to know things. Also, tunaweza kuwa tujui kitu. Tunalan pia. Tunalan pia. Yes. So me personally, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a bad thing. Yes. Alafu unajua mtu anachuziki if I keep my things private or public. And we also don't mm -hmm. share everything. There yeah. are things we keep private and there are things we keep like we decide to keep public. Yes. I love for the moment you tell people to not talk about some things, mm -hmm. they become like in a kwanga. Ita kwatea. Kwatea. Okay, okay you can up, cause stigmatization mm -hmm. by not giving people the freedom to talk. Why? Yeah. There is a young girl out there, mm -hmm. they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. There is a young, maybe a teenager who has become pregnant. Yeah. When we, we keep like, Pregnancy talks private. Mm -hmm. Tutasaidia aje hawa watu. Atuwezi wasaidia. Eh, plus pia mimi mwenyewe sezi jisaidia ni kaiza kuwa na shida. Ni ukweli. Mm -hmm. That is true. But let's not dwell so much on it. Yes. It was just a by the way. Exactly. Uko <laughs> aje? Mi niko fiti. Uh -huh. Niko poa sana. Leo nakawa na beat. Ni mechoka. Leo kamchoka mechoka. <laughs> Mishinda clinic. Yeah. Eh na hiyo clinic imekuwa so enlightening. Mm -hmm. Guys, kama uko nje na unataga mtu wako wanaenda clinic peke yake. Mm -hmm. It's the high time you start going with her. Because mm -hmm. today I've learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know when we started our pregnancy journey kuna zile clinics mtu anaenda eh, but mimi after we went for the first one together mm -hmm. did some tests ni nini mm -hmm. I stopped going with her so unapata saa zingine nimeshikana na mwambia Let me eh, like na me na run job uh -huh. na ya naenda uh -huh. so uh, a lot has been happening uh -huh. because kuna hosi ziko huko nje zenye their work is to take advantage of people yes. and it's so unfortunate yeah. we fail pray to some of these people juma ze e leo mhm what happened <laughs> so today jana jana ni meet na best yangu yeah wife yake ame ame amejifungua juzi mm -hmm. so ndo akaniambia akaniuliza kwenye naendaga clinic mm -hmm. i told him mm -hmm. akaniuliza by the way unalipaga pesa ngapi and then alikuwa he was like how how mm -hmm. bonu nalipisha hiyo pesa yote yeah sio ndoni kasema let me try and change the facility mm -hmm. we go to a different hospital mm -hmm. sasa iko na different hospital hata ndo tumetoka mm -hmm. tukapitia studio leo tunashoot tunashootia kwa studio because we have some interviews so tumesema let us just do this video for mtu wako huko nje mm -hmm. eh, after we went to the other hospital mm -hmm. eh, tumeandikiwa like tumeandikiwa vitu mingi vile tulifanya ultrasound instead ya kutupea precise dates ama before or after unajua inakuwa maybe a week after mm -hmm. or before ama ni two weeks after or before mm -hmm. yeah so instead of writing that for us oleka question marks yeah so i didn't know my due date mm -hmm. and they did not give me unajua mm -hmm. unatoa pesa mingi unafanya mm -hmm. atrasal sound mm -hmm. but hawakunipea the exact date za delivery yeah, hawakuniandikia waliniandikia tu question mark i bet need you, you do more ultrasound i don't know Diyo, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So uh, wakaika question marks then there mm -hmm. are some tests. Pale mm -hmm. after we did test ya uh, of course kuna HIV 
month ya kwanza my infection you have to do hiv infections muangalie nyi wote damu ni nini mm -hmm. we did all those but on top of that mm -hmm. like these people walikuwa natuwekea tu tests zingine hata zilikuwa za, za nini ara zingine hata sikuwa naelewa test that as it makes sense <laughs> alafu each test is going for imagine 2000 2500 so unapata one clinic they they have done four <laughs> tests on us yeah test as like it makes sense spending a lot of money yeah, you end up spending Adi, a lot of money it's a private hospital mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. sijui kama ni vile watu huangalia hivi maybe wanaona mm -hmm. nyinyi si ni wajinga ni ama anaona ni kama maybe mko na pesa sura yako ya mtoto <laughs> <laughs> so guys cost. when <laughs> me my main point is mm -hmm. especially when you're going to a private clinic mm -hmm. Just be, sh be careful. But I don't think the problem is Do the, uh, any private. the problem. Mm -hmm. I don't think the problem is private hospital. Mm -hmm. Because even today we have been to a private hospital. Yeah. The problem is not private hospital. The problem is greedy people. Pia tunafa kufanya background check. Ya background check za hizo hosi. Yeah. So, Ju, I remember mm -hmm. on top of those tests, tunona mm -hmm. tulikuwa tunafanyiwa test mingi. Mm -hmm. After kwenda hii test ya pili leo, mm -hmm. iyo hospital ya pili leo, mm -hmm. they told me like, sikuwa nimepimua kitu kama hepatitis B, which is very, Imagine. I think, very necessary. Yeah, a very important yeah, test. Yeah, when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, I feel like... Imagine we are in the very trimester na awaja kufanyia hepatitis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alafu bado... Very risky. Kuna ile ya mm. siezi jua. Of course I know I'm in my third trimester. Mm -hmm. But I don't know exact, the exact date the exact nilipata date. nilikuwa pregnant. Mm -hmm. Ama the... Especially easy two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Ama two or weeks after. After. They are wali, very imagine important. Imagine wali niandikia eh, question marks. Question marks, mark, yeah. I don't know the exact dates, guys. Like... Ata hawa... Si ata wange nipatia, I think, approximate. At least okay. ya kugez, yeah. Wame niharibia siku leo. Wame <laughs> niharibia <laughs> siku sana. Yeah. Ala file pesa nimeenda kulipa pale. Uh -huh. I, was even, I was even shocked because of the money I'm used to spending on clinic. Yeah. Like nimeshtuka imekuja not even quarter of the mm -hmm. amount we, we are used to paying. Unajua pale tumeenda tukaregister upia. We have done some of the important tests. Yeah. Do imagine hiyo si vile wameona zile mavitu zimeandikwa kwa kitabu yetu. Mm -hmm. Wame have to redo some of the tests how our trust. Yeah, Wameniambia mi hiyo si hadi tabidi nimekunia ultrasound sound ingine. Juu kama hata due date hawajui. Mm tunaweza wa trust kweli yeah like it, yeah. but it's good it was a wake up call yeah. now i will be i will always be there ukienda ateri eh wacha hiyo kazi ikae but itabidi ni kuenda na wewe alafu pia tu guy who is out there make sure unafuatilia make sure unaenda and to the dema kwa huko nje angalia background check ya hosi juko kazi nengo hata alikuwa amenipatia hosi mzuri sana alikuwa amenipatia hosi kama lakini acha niache kuwata alikuwa amenipatia hosi kata tu mzuri sana na mbona huko nipeleka sasa si unajua this this hosi was closer to home ndiko imetukaribia like naona hapo hautasumbukana ati ni shida nikikubeba nikikupeleka okay so bado there is this issue when i was pregnant unajua you need to have a I mean a gynecologist mm. ama huyo clinic huyo whatever mm. bila wanaitwa mm. mwenye anafuatilia na mna discuss na yeye mm. because my blood level has been too low mm -hmm. nimekuwa nikifanya anga kazi mm. alafu i just feel like fainting kazi mm. kidogo mm. siwezi hata kufanya kazi mm. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you have been to a better hospital and at least so Unaenda kupata your mm. in your that trimester mm. but your blood level is too low and you didn't no. know that is so bad they just them. wrote on the book mm -hmm. but they did not tell you so adi daktari pole adi daktari ameshtuka daktari ame have kushtuka he was like nini mbona mna risk the doctor was so shocked but pole <laughs> it's okay don't cry Yeah, so okay. <laughs> so uh, now we are on Robert Party hadi madawa yeah, we are on prescription to buy drugs dawa za ku boost damu and yeah. everything but I'm happy mm. yeah everything else is fine it was so it was so traumatizing like yeah i was so shocked yeah it was so like so i was like how unajua unajua you are in your that trimester but mm. you didn't know mm. like anachukua hiyo kitabu anakuambia mm. your blood hadi mm. imekuwa chini all this time mm. but the other part the other doctor just tells you mm. 
damu yako iko nine mm. but you don't Kakumbi know what you're supposed to do plus you don't know if nine is low if or nine, nine is, nine is high, high yeah. you know mm. but then sasa today but mm. at least i feel safer now mm. unajua mm. because <laughs> we are in a sa- we are, we are in safer I think yeah and I think I've been safer place mm-hmm. and those mm-hmm. people who say that we shouldn't talk about these things mm-hmm. like imagine Kevo met that person and they didn't discuss pregnancy they were that mm-hmm. just like I get you. Eh, we wouldn't know yeah, yeah. they are our friends by the start and belea it was so traumatizing traumatizing for us yes. especially when I do a like knowing it, it, there is yeah. a hospital out there mm. yenye uta some hospitals that don't even care about even you care. especially mm. as a pregnant woman mm. and especially a first time pregnant mm. woman you know mm. you don't even know anything you mm. don't know nothing mm. and uh, unapata like we don't have parents karibu wazazi yeah. wako ushago maana some of eh, our friends hawana watu yes so yeah. me i just feel I didn't want to share about my pregnancy but it was just a wake up call and I'm like oh, mm. for as much as I don't like to talk much mm. I think sometimes it's good to talk yeah it's good to, to talk awaken someone na ku enlighten someone somewhere mm. maybe someone is being taken you know advantage of mm. eh kama wewe ni first time mom mm. <laughs> usiogope kuomba usaidizi Usi ama kuuliza us- maswali eh hata kama una keep private don't mm. keep it private to an extent of mm. kutokuwa exposed to information yeah, yeah it's good to <laughs> i'm not crying guys see it in my <laughs> you're not crying <laughs> anymore <laughs> yeah. it's not it's not right we call out the hospital here we but can. be careful out yeah. there there's so many private hospitals zenye ziko huko nje to rip you off your money mm-hmm. they don't even care about the welfare of you of the kid yeah. but nilikuwa na imagine mm. imagine ukiwa damu iko chini kabisa na mm. unajua time ya delivery actually mm. that's all why i cried out mm. Mm. time ya delivery the amount of blood you lose yeah una so imagine yeah. like yeah. where unaweza atakosa ku survive so okay. for the sa- your safety and the safety of your baby mm. be very careful about the hospital be very careful out there guys yes and, uh, <laughs> the video, the uh, today's video is all about that yeah. but uh, our our journey has been uh, imekuwa sawa yeah Uh, some lows and downs here and there mm-hmm. but we are coping we yeah. are good uh, mm-hmm. tuna mungu mungu anatupeleka tu vizuri yes. god is there for us we get complete and uh, we can uh-huh. <laughs> sorry guys apart from homa hata hiyo si homa emotions yeah. we cannot like really complain mm-hmm. everything is uh, flowing on smoothly yeah uh, no complications so far <laughs> yeah eh yeah, tunaendelea vizuri and thank just you waiting so for the bubble of joy Thank you so much for being by my side always. You're welcome. Like you've supported me in a way that You know I love you so much. I know, mm. but you're such a blessing. Thank I, you. I don't even know if you weren't around what I could have done. Thank you. Na jawadi sa zingine. Na patanga shida. Unaona kama hivyo usiku maybe nimefanya kazi nimefua nguo kidogo. He doesn't sleep guys. No, he never sleep. Eh, like willy me nisumbua. Mhm. He's there holding me asubuhi analala 2 hours ameitwa interview like mm-hmm. I can't even no, I have to take care of you It's okay it's okay baby You're the best thing that ever happened Thank you baby Give me the handkerchief <laughs> Video. guys thank you for watching the video it's so emotional in here but uh, those are things that are happening out here just uh, be very careful to the hospital you go to but otherwise our, our journey has been uh, has been uh, <coughs> good because we there for, for each other and god has been here in the middle and we love you guys for the support the love that you've always shown us oh my god yeah. i can't even explain keep supporting us so subscribe to our channel yes and we love you so much bye yes. guys na sije tutaanza kuwapea namba tuwafungulie whatsapp group okay bye love you so much next time bye bye